Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'll be playing Top Gun on the Nintendo. Now, this game is pretty well known on the NES because this was one of the first games where you were able to use a joystick in order to play. It was also notorious for having the famous landing on the carrier sequence, which, for most people, you end up crashing into the ocean. It is true, it's really hard to try to land on the carrier. In fact, most of the time, I end up crashing into the ocean. However, there have been quite a few times I've been able to land on the carrier, but I'll get into that a little later. I've always loved this game, and the irony here is I have never fully beaten it. I've had this ever since I was probably about uh, five years old, and I've still never beaten it. I've been able to get to level three, but I've never gotten to level four. I love being able to shoot down planes, I love some of the missions that you do, but I think what I love the most is the fact that this game actually features the theme song to the movie. Take a listen. are really good because look how awesome that is I mean you can see the afterburners kick in on that jet when they're warming it up you're told your mission every time but you don't really need to memorize it because you're just automatically gonna go there anyway so the way I see it you just try to push buttons to get through it faster and you just choose your missiles you got one of three choices either of which depends on what you want to do we take off into the wild blue yonder, and, well, we're just shooting at planes. I mean, you shoot planes down, you hit them with missiles, sometimes they'll come up behind you, and you gotta shake them loose by rocking the D-pad left and right. And, of course, you gotta watch out for those missiles. The trick is to try to shoot them down first with the machine guns. You do this until you finally come to the carrier landing sequence. And this is where things get tough, because, <laughs> as I've said, it's hard. I mean, it'll give you some clues, like it'll tell you left, right, up, down, speed up, speed down. You push the A button to speed up, the B button to speed down, but, you know, it, you, all this stuff is happening, and you get confused every now and again, especially when it keeps telling you up, 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 and you're thinking, is he telling me to speed up, or is he telling me to pull up? And I'll tell you this, when you're supposed to go down, half the time it's too late. And I just crashed. Going into Mission 2 is uh, very different because not only do you have to worry about the jets that are coming after you, you also have to worry about the objects below. In this case, we're talking about destroyers and submarines. And the submarines are the worst because they fire three missiles at once. In fact, I, there's just no way to avoid them except by pulling up and just keep pulling up. That's the sad thing about this level is the fact that all you can do is just pull up and just keep going until you finally run low on fuel. And when that happens, you can actually refuel in mid-air. This sequence is actually a lot easier than landing on the carrier. Don't listen to the angry video game nerd. He claimed it's impossible. Please. It's not possible. It's so easy that even a four-year-old could do it. I'm not kidding. All you gotta do is just speed up and pay attention to the little radar system right in front of you and just pull up. I mean, you'll see the hose connection go right where it needs to go. It's not hard. And when you refuel, you move on. And then after no time, you end up fighting an aircraft carrier. This time, you really have to hit it with everything you got. I shoot the missiles, I shoot the machine guns, I try and shoot the missiles that are coming out at me out of the sky, I watch out for the planes. It doesn't take too long to really take care of it. I mean, you just gotta keep focusing. And then we go back to landing again. And, you know, you just go through the same motions, and this time, I've actually been able to land on the carrier. 
Mission 3 is exactly the same as Mission 2. I mean, it's just uh, you're in the desert this time. And obviously you're going to be fighting like jeeps and tanks and stuff. I find it's just the same thing to do. You just pull up, keep pulling up, refuel, then just stay up there, and then you fight the base. And uh, for this one, I've never been able to beat the base yet because they really hit me with everything they got. I mean, they fire like multiple missiles at me, just like the submarines. The only solution I would have for this is to have as many lives as possible. The problem with that is, if you crash into the ocean one time, you lose a life. And that sucks. Because you need those lives to face these big bad guys. However, despite all these problems, I still think it's a fun game, and someday, I hope to beat it. And I'll tell you this, if you think trying to land on an aircraft carrier with the normal Nintendo controller is tough, try using the joystick. It is impossible. This is Movie Fan, signing off.